Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Wordle with Art. We're about to start Wordle number 643 for Friday, March 24th. Let's put in slate and see how we do. We get a T. We had this, I think, very recently. And let's actually think about this. Yeah, I remember what happened. <laughs> uh, it was very close to a two. Um, we did touch and the answer was tough. Because my algorithm does touch. And I'm going to stick with that. Um, I mean, it is going to be very interesting. It would be very interesting for her to have tough and then touch within just a couple days of one another. But that's okay. I'm still going to do it. Yeah, well, that's not bad. Unfortunately, I feel like, boy, you could do a lot with those letters. Ouch. You can do a lot with those letters. Uh, but it wasn't bad. I mean, we have three yellows now to work with. All right, I feel like this is going to be a long one. I bet there's a lot of different ways to play with this. All right, so bear with me, guys. Buckle your seatbelts. I think we're in for a little bit of a ride here. So obviously the first structure that comes to mind would be an, something out. Ah, oh, boy. And I can immediately see like grout. Uh, grout, I think it's used for tiling. You know, that's definitely an option. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm head over heels with it, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll consider it. Um, oh, here's a good one. Oh, no, I was about to say ought, O-U-G-H-T, but thankfully we did lose the, uh, we did lose the H. Yeah, we did lose the H. I do like T at the end because I'm just thinking out loud here and realizing that second position doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it could only be um, a vowel in front, right? Because the only consonant that blends with the T, I think, is S. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that seems pretty logical. Now, we lost the A, the O, the, and, and the U, which is good. And I don't know, IT doesn't seem great. Yeah. I mean, we had itchy, but there's no way we, we would have that. So, um, so yeah, so I don't think the T would belong second. And then, you know, it could go here. Yeah, it could go there, actually. So now there, there's, um, so we had this word, okay? We had this word, but it could be something like outdo type of a structure where you have, um, where you'd have to have the O and the U most likely straddling it on either side. Although in this case, you get duplicates of the O. Yeah. Outgo. That's sort of an option, too. So we got outgo and grout. Oh, boy. Darn it. Uh, this is just, you know, a slightly annoying little structure. But at least we don't have to worry about an OU. So I think touch was useful in that sense. Um, so, you know, we got rid of all the things like, you know, mouth. Um, and, um, yeah, what else could this one be? Good, and it's not a double T, so we don't have to worry about like bitty or something like that, or witty. That could be a bit trappy or kitty. Um, so there is like this outgo. I don't know. We've got grout. Just want something a little bit more to sink my teeth into before we go with that. You know, you always I always get in trouble where I just go on something I quickly found, and then there's many other options, and some of them are just better. All right. Um All right, let's see what else we could do here. I'm just going to kind of scan the keyboard. So beginning it with a QWR does not look good. It's not trout, so that's good. 
Um, beginning with P does not look really correct. Beginning it with D, uh, drought would not be spelt that way. Beginning it with F, uh, that wouldn't make sense. We already know that grout would be a possibility. I don't think Z and X will come into play. Oh, good. And it's not about. Yeah, it's not about because we lost the A. So that's good to know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm starting to like grout. I mean, if it's not grout, then... Um, you know, maybe we'll go with outgo. Um, I feel like I'm just being a tiny bit cursory, but in the interest of time, we're going to go with grout. Woo, 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 woo. Sorry, guys. I don't know. I'm just, you know, lost a slight bit of enthusiasm. I think you guys can tell why, um, you know, having to put, put together leaderboards and, um, throwing people out of the tournament is not the most thrilling thing to have to do, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, because I want to have a clean tournament and I want to have a celebration video where I know I'm putting in the time to honor the true winners, okay? The true winners. So that was good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I absolutely think we got that um, as fast as possible. And um, yeah, we can predict Squirtle. Squirtle's going to go slate, tight. Ah, oh, goodness. I don't know if it'll get grout though. I don't know if it'll get grout. Let's just check how a Squirtle does, though, shall we? And, um, and you know, just for fun of it, uh, we'll check maybe our good buddy, um, uh, the, <laughs> the Clint kids. I do like checking on them. Um, I do like checking on them. It is kind of fun. Because they're predictable, right, guys? You know, they're not switching things up last second just to make it, you know, adapt as best as possible to what the solution is. Um, so Squirtle... And um, yeah, let's do let's do mine first. So we had grout, and uh, I'll just put mine in, and then we'll see what Squirtle did. So I of course did slate, because it'll be interesting to see if my algorithm is better than Squirtle's when when we do tight. So I did touch. Oh, the next best guess was outgo. I went with my first gut, which was grout. Ah, shoot. So Squirtle also gets it in three. It also gets it in three. But interestingly, when it does tight, it goes straight, straight to grout. Whereas when I do my touch, it wanted me to go on a little wild goose chase with out, out go. Nevertheless, let's just take a quick peek after touch what else I could have had. So I definitely mentioned out go. We had outdo. Futon, that's an interesting one. That might be in the list. Outro, that's a good one. That's, um, a, that's like the opposite of an intro. These were, and then there's grout, okay, and that's pretty much it. So it sound, it seems to me like my touch definitely delivered the goods. Um, we could quickly take a peek to see um, if tight did any better, right? So in other words, yes, Squirtle got it in in three, which is great, but did it have fewer or more options than I had? To me, it seems like it was basically down to outgo and grout. Um, those are really the only two legitimate ones with the possibility of a futon. I just don't know if that's in there. You guys can let me know if you're up to date on what the, whatever the Wordle solution list is. But let's give it a shot and see how Squirtle itself does. So slate, um, tight, and we can just go from here. Oh, yeah. It, it nails it. It can only be grout. Uh, that, that makes sense because, yeah, because it established the T at the end, so there's no way you could have outgo. That's pretty cool. Let's check out uh, Bobo. Soar, whoops. I don't think he'll play off of that. I think he'll definitely see that there's too many possibilities. So he'll add Clint. And geez, I'm telling you, look at this. Yeah, he's going to get it in three. It's a guarantee. Well, no, not necessarily. So he will have to think, think about grout versus trout. 
he's going to have to think about Grout versus Trout. It's funny. Trout, I think, obviously comes to mind first, but because of the double T, getting a double letter usually is something that uh, we tend to overlook. I know I've done it a million times. So, But if he, if he sees both, he's going to have a nice little 50-50 to have to contend with. So good luck on that, Bobo. Let's see how the Parse Clint di kid does. I do uh, give uh, Bobo Sore Clint a little bit of a preference. I think getting that O is slightly uh, better than the P. Nevertheless, here comes Parse Clint. Forget it. He's definitely going to go with Clint. There's too many options. And again, look at how narrow these two words get it for these guys. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh, but look, here's the deal. He'll have Robot. We had Robot, and I think um, Tornado the Twixter is, has a phenomenal memory on past uh, solutions, and that helps tremendously uh, because, you know, we're already about, I think, like a quarter of the way through the total list of possible solutions, and um, it, it can easily save you a guess here and there. So they're going to basically have the same situation. It'll be interesting to see what happens, won't it, guys? Well, there you have it, guys. Another fairly quick Wordle solve, and, of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow with yet another edition of Wordle with Art.